go there. I'm doing another small canvas today and trying a new technique. Well, it's not new, but it's one that I have not done before. Um, using a sink strainer, this is a strange one, I know, um, to make patterns on my canvas. On a little canvas, um, this one is an 8 inch by 8 inch and I um, wanted to just try it out and see what sort of patterns I can make but it's a little on the lean so <laughs> it is going to be interesting and my colours I'm using today are violet which has a little bit of silicon added uh, neon pink ultramarine blue and titanium white with a little bit of pearl essence medium added to it. So I'm going to tip my colours around the holes. This has got a funny little base thing on it which um, I'm, I'm sure will catch some of the paint as well. So it's going to be interesting to see what sort of a pattern I can make from it, can create. I am going to I decided to tip the paint straight onto that little middle knob there and I'll be tipping some around as well to see what sort of effect I can get. I have allowed the paint to sit for a couple of minutes just to let the last of it go through. I know there's still some paint build up in the centerpiece but that will just have to come off. Wow, wow those colours are very bright. It looks rather pretty so far. It's going to be interesting to see what happens when I tilt it. Um, I'm still trying to decide whether or not to wreck it first, um, like a wreck a ring pour, run something through it, possibly a comb, just to give it some stripes. I think I might just do that. I will get my comb and run it through it. I haven't done this for a while, but I do enjoy doing it, so I will just do my normal four corners and see what happens. has really made it look different. That's pretty. I like those patterns that have been made, particularly in the blue and the white, so now I'm going to do the tilt.
Right, that is it. That is finished. That is pretty. Very, very, like that very, very much. Especially being on the diagonal like that. I'm starting to really enjoy doing these diagonal type pictures that seem to just flow up from the bottom. Or if you turn it round the opposite way, it looks like it's coming down from that way and bursting out. Just really pretty. With a few small cells, um, tiny bumps I call them, or dents should I say, from where the silicone has come through, but not too many. Just enough to make it interesting. I think I still prefer it round that way. That is so nice. It certainly wasn't the strainer pour that I had pictured in my head, but it is a creation from using a sink strainer and just the four colours, um, the violet, the blue, the white and the neon pink. Um, and it's come out very, very nicely. I'm going to bring it up into the light for you to see what I can see, which is so pretty. I'm just hoping that I don't get it too close to make it go blurry. But that is my creation for this video. And I'm very, very pleased with it. That's it for me. Once again, thank you very much for joining me. And I'll see you next time.